what's up my name is rich welcome back to another video in this video right here uh, i showed you guys previously an easy way to create t-shirt designs with like different software but now i'm gonna go a little more into detail with one that i showed you guys briefly in a video called vexels so this one's pretty neat i've been adding this one along to the catalog along with the other things that i've been using um, it has some cool stuff in here you can actually design t-shirts on there more so i like to download the illustrator files and like tweak it and whatnot but uh let's dig straight into it so here we have vexels um it's always theme based like right now valentine's is coming up so uh, they got a whole bunch of the valentine stuff up but um you can find all kinds of stuff and also in their pricing plans they do include the commercial license for you to be able to use these items for your merchandise so you could download this and use this cat throw it on a shirt they have a whole bunch of mock-ups and whatnot too as you can see right here this t-shirt um right here they have t-shirt maker mock-ups vectors uh, templates all kinds of stuff scalable t-shirt PSD not too sure what that is I'm gonna open that up in a new tab mock-up generator t-shirt maker so this is all if you don't have Photoshop or Illustrator you could go ahead and uh, design stuff on Vexels itself so let's go ahead and see what this is there's even a YouTube video on it all right so scalable t-shirt PSD so apparently these are Photoshop files so I'm gonna move this back to the side We'll come back to that one let's go ahead and check this out so this is their t-shirt maker you can make t-shirt designs on here click on graphics let's see there's all kinds of little icons featured graphics dividers icon view all i think you can type stuff in right here so let me type in ninja yeah you can type stuff in so not too many selections let's type in money there's a few items here. Let's see what their text looks like. Alright, so. Let's see if they have that font on here. Oh, actually they have. You can go ahead and change these. So, how do I go back? How do I go back? How do I go back? <laughs> okay, that's just the grid. I don't know what I'm doing. How do I delete this? All right, right here, delete. I'm also going to delete this. I can just change this one right here. Now I can change the color. Change the size. Now I'm gonna go back to graphics I'm gonna look for a rose all right cool they have a whole bunch of roses I could actually probably use this if, if this is edible edible editable <laughs> there's, there's a lot of options for roses all right so I mean that's just the basics of it uh, so if you do want to use your t-shirt designer, they have one and I guess you can click save right here And then they also have the generator here. So I'm gonna click on the blank shirt right here Oh, this is the back of a shirt Let's click on this one right here. They also have the flat lays as well as the model So there, there's a whole bunch of options as I can see right here on the right side also browse categories um, You can also do mock-ups for like a device a sign a business card uh, there's 80 designs for merchant clothing they got leggings pillows uh, there's just too many options I mean it's that's not a bad thing there's a lot of options so I'm gonna click on this one and then I'm gonna click upload and all I have to do is click on my design and there it is obviously it's a little too big but we can scale it down right here also her arm is in the way but it looks like it already generated a preview for other mockups right here on the right side. So I probably don't have to click on it more than once. Yep, so all I did was click on a different uh, mockup and it's already there. So I could already just browse through other mockups. That's pretty cool. But that's not necessarily the reason why I like to use Vexels. I like to come on here and just download 
items and edit it myself on Photoshop or Illustrator. So let's go ahead and uh, do a quick search. Um, I'm looking for a rose because we're going to do a rose text font thing design. Don't really know what it's called, but uh, I have this shirt right here on OnlyNinjas.com and every single customer that has purchased this shirt has been a woman's. So this right here is going to be for the ladies, but um, you can practically do this with like any type of element. Let's go ahead and see if I can show you all what I'm talking about. So I typed in rose, it's not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna type in floral pattern. All right, so lots of items like this, something like that would work. Let's go ahead and do this one. All right, so here I am an illustrator. Um, I really just want the flowers and I'm pretty sure it's editable, right? editable somebody help me out with that word i'm gonna hit the letter a select all this delete this hit the letter v see if i can just select the background nope that selects the foreground so i'm gonna hit v again let's move that delete the background all right so i'm pretty sure this item right here is grouped i'm gonna hit Control shift g ungroup it Okay, so I couldn't ungroup this file. So I guess not all of them is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna X out of this one, look for a different one real quick. Okay, so I found a different one. And what I'm gonna do is just delete this right here. I'm gonna click on it. Looks like there's some kind of pattern design on the background. Let me see if I can click on this one flower. All right, so now I can see all the different uh, pin selections. So I know this is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna hit Control Shift G, ungroup this. Now this should, yep, there we go. This is all I want. I just want the different pieces of the roses. So this is about four different pieces. I'm going to group these two items back together. So I'm just going to hit V, select that, hit Control G. So now that item right there is grouped back together. All right, now I'm going to open up a new file, pull up the text, type in only ninjas, make this larger. And I'm also going to turn this into outlines. So I'm going to hit type, uh, create outlines. All right, cool. Now I'm going to go back, get a rose. I'm going to get this one right here. I'm going to hit uh, control C, bring that on over, hit paste. And now I'm just going to rearrange it in some kind of fashion that, you know, we can cover up parts of the roses and uh, hide some of them behind the letters. Basically, we're trying to make it look like the rose is interlaced with the text itself. So all we need to do now is delete some portions of the rose and uh, keep some of the other portions, right? So as you can see right here, here's the letter Y. We're gonna wanna keep this right here overlapping the letter L, but we want to delete this section right here so it looks like the Y is on top of the rose. So there's a different few ways that we can do that. What we can do is go back to the text, hit Control Shift G, this ungroups everything. Now we're on the letter Y. We can right click it, hit Arrange, Send, and click Bring to Front. Now check that out. And now the letter Y is in front of the rose, but it's not perfect, right? So I'm just gonna undo that real quick. And the way that I typically like to do it. So what I'm gonna do now is take my pen tool and I'm just gonna go ahead and click and save the parts that I wanna keep. So I wanna get rid of this little leaf. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and now select everything else. Got it. So now everything is selected except for that little leaf. So once you've already selected all the parts you want to keep, now you have this box selection. And now I have the letter V selected for the move selection. Let me move this right here. Actually, oh, I'm sorry. It's called the selection tool. So I'm going to hold shift. Also select on the rows. I'm going to hit object, clipping mask, make. And honestly, there's probably an easier way to do this. Maybe with the Pathfinder tool or something. There's always more than one way to do this. And every time I make a video, I always get blamed for making it the most difficult way or something. But... Uh, I hope this helps so far. All right, so that's an easy way to do it. And now for some of these other letters, I could just move it to the front because I don't ha necessarily have to uh, create a whole selection. So um, let me ungroup this again and then hit the letter V. Here we are. I'm on just the selection of the letter I. I'm gonna right click it, arrange, bring the front. Cool. So now I wanna do maybe the same thing with the letter S. Arrange, bring the front. That's pretty cool. All right, so we can keep the A covered. Maybe we should cover the S, uh, uncover the A, range, bring the front. 
you know so that the choice is pretty much up to you on how you want it to look um this is pretty neat because it goes over the j um under the a and then you can see it come back around over the s but really you just want to play around with it until it's something that you like um maybe we can also cover up this portion right here as well let's go ahead and do this so gonna come on over here take this i'm gonna hold shift with the rows hit object clipping mask make all right so i did that but look it brought the it brought the whole thing back to the front so i'm going to want to go back to the letter a bring the front also this letter in range bring the front cool was it the same way for the l i'm not too sure but now we have the uh the stem going between the letter n and so on so on a part of the same letter um it's going under it and then it's going back over it to go back under the letter i i think it's pretty neat so all you got to do is rinse and repeat do it a few times um even some objects you can just go ahead and overlap the whole thing you don't even necessarily have to bring it underneath like you can do something like that oh right here something like that so play around with it until it's something that you like like i said you don't always have to do a rose you can be creative with this you can do it with pretty much anything that you like let me look up a chain link um hopefully we can find something that's not what i'm looking for chain let's see okay i don't necessarily see what i'm looking for but check this out i'm going to download this one right here it's thug life llama hit download and also i'm sorry it's not a llama it's an alpaca alpaca so now i'm just going to delete all this to back now i'm just going to keep ungrouping I'm trying to see if i can get what i'm looking for ungroup one more time exactly that's exactly what i wanted i just wanted this chain right here perfect all right so right here i'm gonna have to undo everything I'm just gonna delete it bring in my chain and only ninjas make that larger bring in my chain resize it now what I can do is bring this to the front and now I can pretty much do the same thing and right here I have my text I'm gonna do this can it should be control shift O yep that turns into outlines so now I have my pinpoints. I can pretty much have a guide. All right, so now what I want to do is move my chain maybe a little bit so that this portion is right here where this chain right here, I want it to go underneath the letter. So I'm gonna go back to my pen tool. Now create this path. select both object clipping mass make now check that out we could have made a few adjustments so it's a little more perfect but now a piece of it is within the letter o but for the sake of the video i'm just going to keep on going we could have made it a little bit better i'm going to do the same thing right here shift on both object clipping mass make all right so now it looks pretty cool we have the chain going behind the letter in uh money sign hanging out right in the middle we can pretty much do the same thing make it go right back behind behind the j but i think you get the point obviously there's a few different ways to do this uh, i'm not an expert in illustrator i'm just trying to point you guys in the right direction all i pretty much know is enough to make some money enough to make some t-shirt designs enough to get some t-shirts printed but that's a pretty cool effect but real quick let's go back to vexels because i want to see this right here scalable t-shirt psd so i'm pretty sure these are photoshop files that we can just uh pretty much edit right so this looks pretty neat already all right, so I just ended up uh, downloading one that I liked. Um, this one right here is called a Zoom text or something. But these are all editable uh, 
I can't get that word out, editable Photoshop files for t-shirt designs. So you can pretty much, each one is pretty much a combination of different images and you can alter it into a different fashion that you like. So let's go ahead and take a look at one. All right, so check this out. This is the Photoshop file that I just downloaded. It says delete this layer. Uh, in this design, you might find photos, color layers, text effects, interchangeable objects. Anyways, I just delete that one or I just hit the eyeball. All right, so your image here, pretty much I can replace this image with whatever image I would like. My title here, pretty much I'm sure you would double click it. And then we can change this text. This text almost looks like Cooper Black, but it's something called Shrick Hand. Uh, don't have this, so we're just going to replace it with Cooper Black. Check that out. Uh, I'm just going to resize it so it fits. Center it. Hit save. I'm going to go back. There we go. It changed that. Going to come on down to here. Uh, this is to edit the text on the top and the bottom. Uh, your image here that pretty much changes that image so it pretty much has that effect on it whatever image you add uh, that's pretty much it for this one this one it wasn't too much stuff going on I went ahead and double clicked it let's go ahead and change this for the heck of it gonna add my homie Matt uh, this image was probably lower resolution than that one but it's all good hit save not exactly center as well but should do for now now there you have it now it's in that same effect as that image right there pretty cool uh let's check out one more i don't know how long this video is but i hope y'all are still there <laughs> let's check out this one right here this one is just text so this one will be a little more interesting all right so it says change this quote um uh, let's see which one we want to do so there's more than one option check that out so we just changed this one right here all right this font was already on my computer, it's called Anton. Change it to that, hit save, I'm gonna go back. Check that out, it already changed all of them. And all I had to do was just change this uh, one up here. But now I can go ahead and look at the different options. I have option two, I have option one. I like that one because of the little lightning bolt. But all you had to do was change this text up top and it already changed all of them. So that's pretty neat. And since we're on Photoshop, I can just go ahead and add my uh, ninja right here. I'll copy my ninja over, paste him right here. Doesn't exactly match, but we're just playing around. But I bet you if I uncheck, if I ungroup this right here, we can probably change the color of this lightning bolt somehow. Oh, here's the line. Uh, so it's not really editable. All I'm going to do is hit Control u change the color. Maybe to like a blue. Change it to something like that. I don't know. I think that's pretty neat. But uh, I haven't used this one yet. But I'm going to play around with it. Because there's a whole bunch of other options that I would like to look through. Especially something like this. Or something like this one. Vexos has a lot of options if you don't have Photoshop. I do recommend you learn Photoshop day by day. I don't know how many times I got to say that. Because you can play around with your uh, images. And uh, have a little more control. Um, in Illustrator you can play with the actual elements of the images. But if not you can create your t-shirt design right here in their own t-shirt maker. And you can also generate the mock-up. I think it's pretty valuable especially for the price. So if this video helped you out please let me know. Comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Hey Hustle Ninja, thanks for watching. Remember, if you want to support the channel and have the chance to win a giveaway to help your clothing brand, be sure to check out OnlyNinjas.com. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay hustling.